It's time to take a few minutes to learn about editing in Audacity. There's a few simple tricks that we're gonna learn to make your editing process smoother and sound better. Let's go. Welcome back, I'm Megan Kuhar, Marketing Technology Coach. I teach musicians and creative people how to use technology and social media to find their audience and build their community. Today we're gonna learn about editing in Audacity using crossfades, fading in and out, split clips, and more. All right, so editing in Audacity is pretty simple. I'm gonna show you a few of the basic editing tools that you're gonna to need to use. We already went over selection, which allows you to select audio. We went over the envelope tool, which allows you to draw audio changes, like volume changes. We went over the zoom tool, which allows you to zoom in. You can also use the zoom tools up here at the top so that you can zoom in and out a little bit easier without changing your tool settings. And we went over the time shift tool, which allows you to transfer entire pieces of audio to other locations in the timeline. What I wanna show you next is some basic splitting and cutting and fading and crossfading techniques that you'll need to do whenever you're editing. So what I need to do now is I wanna split this section of audio and I'm gonna move it to the very beginning. If I put my cursor where I wanna make the slice, I'm gonna go up to edit and click on clip boundaries and click split. Make sure you also look to see what the shortcut is for this command. Sometimes it's easier just to memorize shortcuts than going through the menu and navigating through the menu. So for, for this program, split is command I. I can do that a little bit easier than going up to edit, clip boundaries and split. So I'm just gonna do command I next time I need to use it. All right, so now this is a separate region and I can move it all the way to the beginning if I need to. So I'm gonna hit zoom out so I can kind of get a bigger picture here. All right, so now that's at the beginning. I'm gonna be careful that you don't go too far because actually we'll keep going. Um, and let's say I wanna grab the audio from this section. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go up to edit, cut, and I'm gonna scroll over and I'm going to paste here. Again, shortcuts, Command X, Command V. I'm gonna zoom in here. And I'm going to take the time shift tool and move myself over next to this other clip. Now, you wanna be careful whenever you're putting two clips together that you always crossfade, that you always make sure that your audio smoothly transitions to the next audio clip. So I'm gonna do that by zooming in and highlighting the section that I'm gonna create a crossfade with. And I'm gonna go up to effect and I'm gonna click on crossfade clips. Now that creates a crossfade, which means one fades out while the other fades in and it smooths over that transition. If you don't crossfade when you're combining clips together, it will create a small or slight popping sound or any other sort of click or weird sound. So you want to ensure that you're making it as professional as you can by crossfading whenever you combine clips together. All right, so I've got that crossfaded. Um, let's say the last thing I wanna do is fade out slightly at the end of this audio. So I'm going to highlight and click on effect and click on fade out. And now watch the waveforms. See how the waveforms change size? That means actually the fade is working. So I have this faded out, so that's great. Do you wanna know the one effect in Audacity that transforms audio and has changed my life? Seriously, click on the video on the screen right now. Before you do, click subscribe so you don't miss any content in the future. All right, I'll see you in the next video.